remember those days having a scooter. <laughs> Dude, your hand's covering your mirror. <laughs> Just... I don't know what that is. Like, ugh. <laughs> it's like, uh, your hand's covering your mirror. How can you see? This person behind me, like, put her blinker on to get into my lane. She never turned her blinker off. And she has no idea. How can you not know your blinker's on? Like, unless you got the radio blasting or something, or... Gosh. It goes tick, 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 tick. <laughs> she still has her blinker on. It's been like five minutes. I'm trying to think in my head, how can I signal the driver behind me that her blinker's on in a way she would understand? Oh, that's where I was doing the um, Christmas lights. One of the places right there. Ah, uh, she turned. <laughs> anyway, the next place is right there. Um, I didn't go in that part because they start shutting it down but back behind it there's a street is where I went and they do a whole bunch more back there it's still kind of unreal to me that I'm riding this bike it's like I don't know sometimes I just as I'm coming out to go ride it's like I look at it and I'm like that's really mine oh it's cold here okay it's 79 out and I'm cold? What's wrong with me? I always like to give a hand signal as well as my turn signal during the day because I know blinkers are really hard to see during the day. Even on cars, they're hard to see. I just do both and if they get confused by the hand signal, Maybe they'll look at my bike and see that the turn signal's on and they'll be like, oh, okay, that's what that means. Oh, and by the way, these pants, see that little um, strappy thing? I got it around both. It came with my camera, those straps. And I have them on my pants because um, these pants are like big at the bottom. And what happens is when I, when I don't have these straps on, they get caught. Hello. <laughs> Okay, back to my story. <laughs> what happens is um, when I don't have my, when I don't have the pants clipped tight like that, it gets stuck on the foot peg and stuff. My pants do. And then, um, I don't know, I just, I start paying too much attention to that and worrying about it and everything. I mean, I want all my attention on the road, not on my accessories and pants and everything. Because it's stressful enough just being on the road. I don't want to add more. <laughs> that gesture I made to that car, I wonder if they understood what I was doing. I don't even think I understood what I was doing. I was just waving my hand left and right, kind of. I don't know. Probably didn't make much sense. <laughs> they know what they did wrong, I'm sure. If they even saw me. Gosh, I don't even know sometimes. I probably shouldn't have done any gestures because that took my hand away from being able to hit the brakes if I needed to. But I did feel like they weren't going to stop, and I was right. But in the chance that they do just stop right in the middle of my path or back up or something, I would have had to hit the brakes. So I got to stop, you know, doing those dumb gestures. <laughs> like, I'm not flipping people off or being road rage about it. I'm just... I don't know. I just want to let them know, like, hey, hello. <laughs> Look next time. <laughs> But my safety is more important than one dumb person who can't look. I feel so much better without having all the stuff on my helmet, for real. The wind isn't, you know, getting caught on it and everything. I have it all down here now, in my belly bag. Come on, get out neutral. I hit it like halfway or something and then I couldn't get it back out of it. I had to literally shift it up in the second and then it let me go back down in the first. There it goes again. Doesn't want to go in the fifth. This bike is acting weird. It's always right here on this street. No blinker. Why does everyone that passes me 
in that exact situation, every single time when I have to slow down for a car in front of me, and then someone on the left passes me, and then they pass, I don't know, they get in my lane to pass that lane, every single time in that situation, they don't use a blinker. What is with them? I mean, here I am speeding back up so people don't rear end me. So I just always keep that in mind. It's like, if I wasn't, if I didn't know that and I was just speeding up so I don't get rear-ended, I would just get sideswiped a lot. <laughs> well, now you use your blinker when you're not cutting a biker off. Gee. Is this lady gonna cross or no? Uh, bad place to cross. There's a cop right there. It's probably gonna, oh. What is she doing? No, I'm sorry. What did I say? I'm sorry. What's that scoopy thing up on top of that truck? You see that? Well, that. Oh, I gotta give it to them. That was a good tight U-turn. I thought for sure they were gonna pull into my lane, but dang, that was that wasn't bad. Person knows how to control their car. Thank you for yanking into my lane with your turn signal at the same time. <sighs> Better than what some people do. Look at that. Like, that's cool. Oh, what? This white car can't decide what lane. This lane, this lane, this lane, this lane. Just pick a lane, car. And every time you change lanes, you're cutting someone off. It's like, ah. Oh. See, there it goes again. Cutting people off every single time. Another person not using their blinkers. My God. Whatever. I'm done talking about it. It's too much.